To determine which of the given fractions are equivalent to 2 over 7, let's take each fraction and write the numerator and denominator in some kind of factored form to see if the fractions are equivalent to 2 over 7. So let's see how that works. So I can write 4 as 2 times 2. That happens to be its prime factorization. We don't have to use prime factorization, but it helps sometimes. 14 is 2 times 7. So what I have is 2 over 2, which is really 1. So I can remove that, which leaves me with 2 over 7. So yes, 4 over 14 is equivalent to 2 over 7. If I have 6 over 18, I can write 6 as 2 times 3. In the denominator, 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. That's 6 times 3. So I can remove the 2 over 2 and the 3 over 3. It looks like there's nothing left in the numerator, but really there's a 1 there times 1. We just don't usually write that. So this fraction reduces to 1 over 3, and I should have technically put an equal sign over here just to keep things um, nice and formal. So the 6 over 18 is equivalent to 1 third. It is not equivalent to 2 over 7. 10 over 35, I can write 10 as 2 times 5. That's its prime factorization. I can write 35 as 5 times 7. Once again, prime factorization. I have 5 over 5. That's a form of 1 that can be removed, leaving me with 2 over 7. And again, then we have a fraction equivalent to 2 over 7. If I look at 14 over 28, I don't really need to do a prime factorization here because I see 14 times 1 and 28 is 14 times 2. So there's my form of 1 that I can reduce. So 14 over 28 is really equivalent to the fraction 1 over 2. So our final result then, fractions equivalent to 2 over 7, would be 4 over 14 and 10 over 35.